Remember when you was little and you woke up with pounds of snow outside and the news told you that school was closed for the day? I remember. What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jags Platinums and today we are getting the Platinum Trophy in the anticipated South Park Snow Day. Of course, I brought my friends along Mo and Goonie and we got straight to it on the day of release. The game starts off by showing you how there's a deadly snowstorm that has taken over the city and the boys have decided to go outside to play their usual antics. We customize our character and get right into the tutorial where we release the green sea. Oh, I'm about to beat some kids. What? What do you mean? Oh yeah, see there's like four right here. You probably just got them all together and... There you go. The green seas make at least four enemies vomit with no more than one second in between each other. As I was setting up the game, my chat told me to press right on the D-pad and I found the toot button. You must have just got lucky. Damn. Found the toot button. Relieve the buildup of natural pressures in the gastrointestinal tract through quick, ambient, semi-musical bursts of gaseous release. What did you do? Is that you? You look ugly as fuck. No. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first chapter of our journey is to attack the dirty Drew Elf Kyle before he and his Drew army can attack the humans, so we meet up at the stub to make some ground rules. This is where we choose our starting bullshit cards that will give us upgrades and abilities that we can use during the level, and the enemies can choose their cards to use against us, which we'll go into more detail later. Progressing through the level, we get our third fart-related trophy for putting the ass in Assassin. Ooh, put the ass in Assassin. Fart on three Assassins using Fart Escape. One minute later, as I was attacking the same enemy, somehow I was able to light a field of flame. Oh, fields of flame. Set four more enemies on fire with no more than two seconds in between each other. Right after, I decided to do some grave dancing on Moe's body. Yes. I got a trophy for dancing grave on. Dancing. Dance for an ally. Oh, I farted. I farted on a... Wait, how do I, how do I emote? Oh, grave dancing. Dance while reviving an ally. Thank you. <laughs> Typically, you can find Jimmy after some encounters where he will offer you some upgrade cards to use. You could use toilet paper that you get from killing enemies and random treasure chests to upgrade cards to stronger stats, and that's how we get our first legendary upgrade. Can I upgrade it twice? I wonder. No. Yeah, I can. Oh, I got a legendary. Legendary. Acquire a legendary upgrade. Okay. I just upgraded that. So that works. Fuck it. This is when we finally come across the Drew Kyle and we have to become weed killers. Damn. Damn. I don't see your fat ass out here. You know what, Kyle? I learned something today. You're a little bitch. Fuck you, darling. <laughs> weed killer. Oh, we defeat Kyle in his sacred grove. We sit down with Kyle, who then tells us that Stan has casted a banned spell that creates an endless winter, so we start chapter two chasing after him. On the way to Stan, I had saved up enough toilet paper to upgrade a card all the way to ultra legendary. Okay, here you go. How do you like it now? Ultra legendary. <laughs> Damn, I still didn't get it. Acquire an ultra legendary upgrade. Woo! In an effort to stop us, Stan makes us fight Princess Kenny and we agree to get rid of his bastardly behavior. One of the powers that you can bring into the fight with you is a cheesy poof totem that gives you health and a powdered cheese bath. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I'm putting down the totem. I'm putting it down. Heal, stand in my thingy and get healed now. No. Oh, I probably I won't get it. Oh! I got the <laughs> Wait. Po powdered <laughs> cheese bath. Heal 150 points of damage with a single healing totem. Got it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, is there a way to do that? I don't know. We'll have to look. I let this inject sent flying, and then I saw the AI run over and just one hit them. Bastardly behavior. Defeat Princess Kenny at the town square amphitheater. 
In the third chapter, before we fight Stan, we learn that we have to pass a certain level of strength and integrity to get to the same level as him, so we make our way to the test area. But first, one of the bullshit cards you can pick is Moon Jump, which gives you higher jumps and makes you float, so we decided to do a Moon Crash and get a Death from Above. Death from above, defeat 10 enemies with weapon strikes from the air. Moon crash, kill an enemy with an aerial attack after floating with moon jump for at least one second. There we go. I got you. Then the last trophy I needed for the card upgrades was quite discerning. Ooh, discerning. Increase the rarity of 10 upgrades to rare or better. The test to get us to the same level as Stan is given to you by Ned and Jimbo, who ask you to fetch some items for them to fend off the hoarders, and once we bring them all the items, we will be fully worthy. I could, but I don't really need to. Ooh, oh, fully, fully worthy. worthy. Become an honorary marsh walker. Lamb, lamb, bro. We find Kyle at the playground, and the same way we became weed killers is the same way we'll become dragon killers. But first, let's get some impotent vengeance. When we don't kind of die, we won't All right. Come on. All right, there okay. I go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, impotent vengeance. Two on an enemy faction leader while dead. There are cannonballs lodged in snow around the battle arena, and when we load them into the cannon and kill three enemies, we will get a pirate ship. Come on. Get on the cannon and aim fire! Boom! Pirate ship, please. Kill three enemies with cannonballs. Dragon killer. Defeat Stan at the playground. We confront Stan about using the winter spell and he denies being the one to use it and the only person in South Park strong enough to use that spell is Mr. Hanky who was canceled for saying some off-putting jokes. Cartman realizes that if we catch Mr. Hanky that means the snowstorm would end and he would have to go to school again. So he does what he thinks is best, and that is to join Mr. Hanky and make everyone drink literal shit and turn into the minions. What is it? I'm never going back to school. And you'll never have to, Eric. We chase Cartman and he cries to his MILF that we are trying to ruin his snow day and we get attacked by his cursed bloodline. Yeah, at least, at least an hour. At least. It's longer than that. Uh, oh, the cursed oh. bud line. Oh, Defeat Lian. 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 Catching up to Cartman, we need to make him pay for his inevitable betrayal, but if we avoid damaging any of his decoys, we could also know thy enemy. Is it him? Yeah. 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 I'm on the way. Oh, I'm gonna get down again. He's one shot. He's one shot. Yeah. Got him. Know thy enemy, defeat yes. Cartman without damaging no. any stationary decoy. Inevitable betrayal, defeat Cartman. Let's go. First fucking try. We start the final chapter chasing the one and only Mr. Hanky who confesses to us that he's angry that the city made him an outcast for the jokes he made. He then escapes and proceeds to use dark matter to fuel the magic he uses to control South Park and his minions. In the last fight, Mr. Hanky literally turns into the biggest piece of shit. Try the halloo. Excuse me? What did he just call me? That's gotta be racist. Did he just call me as something racist for oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's me after a, a, good, a good curry. A good what curry? That's me after Taco Bell, man. Before getting too far into the fight, just make sure you have clean underwear. No. Hopefully they just keep spawning, no. man. Yeah, it looks like they do. There's a bunch, though. Yeah, there's so many. I actually haven't even killed one in ages. Yeah. No cap. No cap. Oh, clean underwear. 
Kill 50. Nice. We load rolls of tissue into cannons and shoot it at Mr. Hanky to learn the valuable lesson that everyone needs Ambien. You can try and do it, Jax. I'm buying a lot of these like things. Everyone needs Ambien. Defeat Mr. Mm. Hanky. In the end, South Park is saved, but Jesus visits the kids and tell them that he's disappointed in the way they treated Mr. Hanky and that they should apologize and let him come back to town. The boys visit the toilet while giving a sincere apology, becoming friends with Mr. Hanky again, and the boys had one request of one more snow day. Dying and shit. <laughs> yep. Now with the main story out the way, we unlock infernal packs from Nicole, which are little challenges that we can do during levels, so we sign the contract to make our new rule hardcore. Yeah, it was something about toilet paper. A new rule! Finish a map with one extra rule book applied. Hardcore! Oh, that's Find it. and accept all of Nicole's infernal packs across an entire run and live to tell the tale. What? <laughs> Oh. It's one run. It doesn't say like the whole story. The next miscellaneous trophy that we wanted to focus on was becoming a marsh pooper. While speed running the level, the game decided to troll Mo and respond back to some comments he was making. There's like some range food stuff. Me, bro. If you can't deal with one fucking archer, maybe you could get a friend who can. <laughs> <laughs> is it right, right, right with you? <laughs> <laughs> that is like perfect timing, man. <laughs> you can't make that shit. Marsh Pooper. Nice, Defeat stand within 20 minutes of starting your run. The next three trophies that we focus on are all power related, and the first one teaches us how to use middle management. The way this trophy works is that one of your teammates has to go down and you have to possess a necromancer that will then revive your teammate. No! No, AI, no! Stop, AI! Oh my god. Please, please, please. I got it! Middle management, let's go! No! Fuck, last second. Oh my god. The next power related trophy comes from the gravity bomb. We have to start a match and somehow get Jimmy to offer us Event Horizon so that we can use it on an enemy. I grabbed my bow and I did it myself. I'll do it myself. Damage an enemy in your Event Horizon using your own projectile. Nice. Get it done. The last power related trophy needed is called Escher of Necromancy. For this trophy, we had to get Jimmy to offer us an upgrade card named Cheesy Zombie. Once we have the card, we need to kill a necromancer and then resurrect it back from the dead. There's a necro? Wait, there's a necro, there's a necro. Huh? Oh, nice. Kill it, kill it, and get the trophy, and then I'll try it. I got it. The Escher nice. of Necromancy. Use Cheesy Zombie on a Necro. One of the bullshit cards we can get at the beginning of a match is called Invisibility, and we need to kill a boss while invisible to get no tears now, only dreams. Wait, 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 wait. Wait! Where is he? Where is he? No, no. I got him. No tears now, wow. only dreams. Nice. While invisible to feel human boss. Ooh. In the game, one of the weapons you can choose from are these daggers that can cause bleed damage. If you're able to kill an int with it, you can tap that maple syrup. The issue with this trophy is that you cannot turn off the extra AI players that join you during fights, and they like to follow you around like they aren't competent enough to fucking fight on their own. Let the AI hurt the regular. No fucking way, man. Uh, uh, I think... 
I couldn't do it. That's such bullshit, man. Is there one more? Why is he on my fucking dick? Yeah. Got it. Tap that maple syrup. Fucking nice. terrible trophy, man. Absolutely terrible. And then there was one last trophy called Van Helsing. It has to be one of the worst trophies in the game. For you to get this trophy, you need to kill 10 vampires. The only way to encounter vampires during a run is if the enemies have picked the vampire bullshit card in the beginning, which is completely RNG. Then you have to play through the level and hope that the enemy randomly uses the bullshit card. Problem number two is when the enemy uses said bullshit card, there's a chance that only one vampire will spawn and you have to continue playing through the level in hopes that the enemy uses the card again and more vampires spawn. This was truly a pain in my ass. Mr. Old Man Gooner. Am I not going to get a bullshit this round? There it is, bullshit. Vampires, don't give me laser, don't give me laser. Vampires, how many? How many? Oh, there's three. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, Phantom. Oh, my fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. No, no. Let's go! Van Helsing! Let's fucking official! Oh, official South Park resident! Oh, fuck, man. Oh, nice, man. Seven hours and 27 minutes. My honest opinion on the game has to be that it's just alright. It isn't bad, but it isn't really good either. It's definitely a game that you have to play with friends to truly enjoy the experience. The game is pretty short, and if you're not trophy hunting, you can easily beat the game in 2-3 to three hours with it already getting a little repetitive by the time you get to the end. But I hope you all enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace.